Hey there, welcome to the vlog. And today I am at Contemporary at Walt Disney World Resort. So I am hanging out outside my room. I have these nice little chairs to set out here on the patio and enjoy the sounds around the resort. I have a great monorail view, which I will share when a monorail goes past. But I just wrapped up my first day at the Flock Conference and I had a great time. There is another session tomorrow, but tonight we have some free time. So I have a reservation at Cinderella's Royal Table. I'm gonna take you along with me to my Magic Kingdom and share everything that I'm able to do tonight. It has been kind of rainy the whole time I'm here. It just kind of pop up storms in the afternoons. So I've just been kind of rolling with it and luckily it's just raining for a little bit and then it kind of dissipates later. So it's Florida. You kind of have to just roll with the weather because that's what it does here. But let me share my monorail view and the clouds starting to roll in here. So this is a really fun view if you love the monorails. It's kind of fun just to sit here and watch them go past and it's a nice quiet corner. So it's kind of just nice and relaxing to sit out here for a little bit. So I'm getting ready to go change clothes into my Cinderella inspired outfit to wear dinner tonight. And I am going to prepare for a bit of rain because it is starting to cloud up. So here's this nice little sitting area that I have right outside my door. So you can see the numbers are even on the outside so you can see where your room is at, but it's just nice and relaxing to sit out here next to this little green area and just enjoy the sights and the sounds. So here's my outfit laid out for tonight and I am going to go ahead and change into this. So I thought I would share what is in my theme park day bag and so I have my outfit laid out here. I'm planning on wearing this A Dream Is A Wish Your Heart Makes shirt with this skirt because I am headed to Cinderella's Royal Table tonight, which is always a lot of fun. I'm planning on popping by Epcot real quick. So I do have this Flower and Garden Festival passport that I'm gonna bring with me. And I'm planning on bringing this tote because I can fit my cameras and all the extra items that I need down inside here. But also I'll be wearing my magic band so that way I can use that. I sometimes bring my card case with me as well, just in case they need to see my Disney Chase card. I like to bring these mints and these mints are so cute. They're for the 100 years and they're in the shape of the characters. I love these mints. And you can find them here at Walt Disney World on property. I also have my main vlogging camera and I'll also put a gimbal in here, which is just the kind of stick that moves with my phone if I'm filming with that. I have this LED fan that lights up and it definitely makes it a lot cooler whenever it's hot and humid here. Then I also bring my AirPod Pros with me in case I need to take a meeting on the go or take a quick phone call. So that way I can just have that in my ears and I don't have to worry about my whole headset. I like tossing in a couple shout wipes to have on the go as well. And then this hand sanitizer by Touchland. I love this because it's just a nice spray. It comes in a lot of pleasant scents and it's a very slim profile. So it fits down inside your bag really easily. Other than that, I'll just toss in a couple lip glosses and I'll be good to go. So this is everything that I typically have in my park day bag. restaurants, Chef Vicky's, Contigo Cafe, which is their quick service, and there's also Outer Rim. And I'm going to go over and get on the monorail. So this is the upper side of where I was standing, right down there before. So you can look down into the eating area and then the resort that goes straight through the Magic Kingdom comes through over here and then I'm going to this monorail over this side.
Riding the monorail through Epcot is awesome because you can see all of the different rides from a distance and also see some of the new projects that they're working on that are getting ready to open up at the end of the year as well. This is one of my favorite views looking over the World Showcase and the entrance to the World Showcase. I love flower and garden and all the beautiful topiaries and flowers that are around Epcot during the season. I was especially excited to see all of the work that's happening behind Spaceship Earth on this trip. I could tell that there was a huge difference from the last time I was here and how much progress they've made. So this is going to be an all new area right there behind Spaceship Earth as you come into the front entrance of Epcot. And I love this Moana area. It's really coming together. This is supposed to open up at the end of 2023 and you can see it is looking pretty done. the front entrance they always have different topiaries for the opening of flower and garden each year and this year it was in Kanto. I absolutely loved it and I felt like it fit the theme so well. So I headed back to Pineapple Promenade which is one of my favorite stands during flower and garden and I had to get one of my violet lemonades. So I grabbed my favorite drink the violet lemonade and I'm going to drink this real quick. I may try to ride Spaceship Earth but it's actually starting to thunder. So I might need to make it back over to the monorail so I don't get drenched. The past couple nights has just been clouding up and just been a little bit stormy in the evening. So it's starting to roll in right now pretty quickly. So I got the flatbread from the Honey Bistro on my way out and the raindrops, I can just barely start feeling them. So I'm going to try to eat this real quick to get back over to the monorail. But my two favorite stands are right here next to each other, right at the entrance of the World Showcase. is you can just pop from park to park for a whole year. So I'm back over at Magic Kingdom tonight for a dining reservation. So here's the deal, just a real time chat here in the middle of the vlog. You're gonna notice that the vlogs from this trip look a little different. It's rained every single night that I was here. And to be honest, I have my gimbal and everything with me where I take longer videos. But when it's lightning and storming outside, I don't want to take all the gear out and get it all soaked for starters, but I also don't want to be waving a wand around in the hair there. So it is starting to lighten again tonight. It's just that's how the weather is in April sometimes. You just get thunderstorms in the evenings. So you're going to notice a lot more, probably shorter clips from this trip, and probably mainly filming during the daytime because in the evenings it's been doing this. So can't do anything about being here in April. So I'm gonna go head down towards the castle because that's where my dinner is. I'm gonna try to get inside before the storm gets down towards the castle. So you can see it's clear that direction, but it is heading that way. So it's just starting to sprinkle where I'm standing. So I'm going around to where the entrance of Cinderella's Royal Table is whenever they're closed off for the nighttime shows, but it has gotten dark over here. I got the shrimp. It comes with a bit of garnish on the top. So this is the fish. It's all wrapped up in a little bag. It's got the chimichurri sauce on there, which I absolutely love. And it is snapper. I 
ended up perfectly timing this to where I was having the end of my meal when the fireworks started and it's awesome because when you're in the castle they actually pipe in the music to happily ever after or whatever fireworks show is going on so that way you can enjoy the music to go along with the fireworks. This was such a fun way to end the day. We had a great conference day, but it's obviously a long day when you're at these conferences, so having a nice meal with the fireworks was a great way to unwind. And then I headed over to ride a few rides before I left to go to bed for the evening because we had another conference morning the next day. All was quiet when I got back to the Contemporary, so I used this time to take some photos and videos of the space. It's a gorgeous lobby and a really great entryway. And if you don't follow me over on my blog, BeMommyWithStyle.com, you can check out lots more tips, tricks, and information from our different travels there. And I need to talk about it in an upcoming video, but I actually make content in a number of places that you may not be aware of if you only follow me here on YouTube, so check that out in an upcoming video. So our first full conference day at Flock was awesome, and then the following day we had another half day of round tables, which was full of great information. I can't wait to do a recap of this conference, and I have a few more videos headed your way. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.